beloved mother, you who love us who are always holiness and love, did you just raise our minds and hearts off into the Trinity and to fix their on our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your brilliance, shower us with your kindness, lead us into light and into love, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God, but let each minute take us further into the depths of the God's mystery until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all the things in eternal love and unity. He stooped down to me, he heard my cry. 
He drew me from the deadly pit, from the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps firm. He put a new song into my mouth, the praise of our God. Many shall see and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord and has not gone over to the rebels who follow false gods. How many, O Lord my God, are the wonders and designs that you have worked for us, you have no equal. Should I proclaim and speak of them, they are more than I can tell. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim, instead here am I. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, you know it, O Lord. I have not hidden, hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. O Lord, you will not withhold your compassion from me. Your merciful love and your truth will always guard me. For I am beset with evils too many to be counted. My sins have fallen upon me and my sight fails me. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart sinks. O Lord, come to my rescue. Lord, come to my aid. O let there be shame and confusion on those who seek my life. O let them turn back in confusion who delight in my heart. Let them be appalled, covered with shame, who cheer at my love. O oh, let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, The Lord is great, great who loved your saving help. As for me, wretched and poor, the Lord thinks of me. You are my rescuer, my help. O oh God, do not delay. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, How I would lead a rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, The throng wild with joy. 
Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Nisan. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? I groan within me. Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If any wonders, let him come to me and dream. <laughs> we have passed out of death into life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I, I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men. Among those who dwell in the world, my dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded <clears throat> up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night, you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I roll like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O oh Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. What am I to say or tell him? He has done it. I shall go on through all my years, despite the bitterness of my soul. Those live whom the Lord protects, yours the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. Thus is my bitterness transformed into peace. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not another world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit Await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O oh God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We have passed out of death into life. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from Him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth, sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations, God reigns on His holy throne. The princes of the people are assembled, with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God. To God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, <clears throat> now and forever. Amen. Blessed is the King, who comes in the name of the Lord. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Like the sun in the morning sky, the Savior of the world will dawn. Like rain on the meadows, He will descend to rest in the womb of the Virgin. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. 
He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Like the sun in the morning sky, the Savior of the world will dawn. Like rain on the meadows, He will descend to rest in the womb of the Virgin. Alleluia! Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin graciously revealed the radiance of your glory to the world, grant, we pray, that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of so wondrous an incarnation, and who always and always celebrated with due reverence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all our life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the last supper, Rest your hand upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart that Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father that we may be true sons of the Father, living by His light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Mary, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.